The team of UN inspectors is making preparations to leave Syria on Saturday. It includes Angela Kane, who is UN High Representative for Disarmament Affairs and was in Damascus to negotiate access for the scientists. The 20 strong group have been taking samples from the area which was allegedly attacked with a banned toxic substance. Custody guidelines state samples must be collected by the UN team themselves. Meanwhile, these pictures posted on a social media website claim to show people, including children, suffering after the alleged gas attack of August the 21st. Euronews cannot independently verify these pictures.